And as you shine this light from your heart, shining it to each other and shining it out to the whole world. Imagining from our circle, all the lights that we are holding inside of us and the candles that we're holding as this gesture. Imagining all the people over the world, the billions of soul star lights within their hearts and the trillions of cells, all the lights with all the energy streaming of consciousness, of the planet, of the cosmos, of the universe. And all this light with love, with transformation for us all to grow, for us all to awaken to our truth, our divine love, our divine light. And there's a Sanskrit mantra, Aham Prema, which means I am divine love, Aham Prema. And possibly you can repeat that to yourself a few times. And when you feel ready, you can place your candle down beside you and taking your hands to your heart. Allowing your shoulders to relax back and down. Maybe you shrug your shoulders a few times, feeling into your rib cage relaxing, your lungs, your heart relaxing. And as you place your hands over your heart, taking big deep breaths again across your heart, through your heart, around your heart. And filling your heart with this light the bright light of your soul, illuminated and alighted. And with your breath, perhaps you can feel into the inner dance, the exchange with an inhale, your heart expanding in all directions. And as you exhale, the heart releasing softening, grounding to the earth, dropping from your mind to your heart, and dropping through your heart to the earth. And again, the mantra, Aham Prema, if that resonates with you, I am divine love, Aham Prema, I am divine love. Aham Prema, I am divine love. As you take big deep breaths through the whole of this session from your heart space, Let's now either open our eyes or keep them closed. Do a few stretches before we lie down and inquire deeper with our sound journey and our yoga nidra. So you can keep your eyes closed and if you're seated, taking your hands to your knees, lifting yourself up into a straight spine and your heart, looking up to the sky or with your eyes closed, looking to your third eye. As you exhale, rounding your spine, drawing lower belly in and looking down or looking within, down to your heart. Inhale, lifting up again, lifting your heart. Exhale, rounding, drawing your heart into your own inner light. Inhale to lift and expand. And once more, exhale to round, softening through. Inhale to a flat back. Let's just twist to one side, taking opposite hand to knee, please. Turning and looking over your shoulder and take three big breaths to this side. Feeling into dropping out any tension from your rib cage, from the back of the heart, 
back of your shoulders, dropping it down to the earth to dissolve. And coming to centre, let's go to the other side when you're ready, twisting. It's great to release energy and emotions and just unwind any stress. Big deep breaths through the back of your body, through the back of your lungs and heart. Coming back to centre, let's stretch our hands up to the sky, big arching up like a star rising and then you can either keep your hands together or apart or interlaced with the index finger pointing up. As you reach up, just stretch up, really lifting and as if you could send all of this lit up energy that we've been focusing on so far up to the planets, Mercury, Saturn and Jupiter, to the Moon, to the Sun, to Venus, to Mars, to all the planets, Uranus, and all the moons of the planets, all the stars lighting up. Great relaxing, maybe sighing out as you are, take your hands down to the sides. And now let's just pulse our heart wings, opening our hands out wide to the sides as you cross your body, come into centre and give yourself a hug, feeling into tenderness and softness. Inhale, reach your arms wide again, looking up perhaps and lifting your heart. Exhale, cross your arms the other way, the opposite way if you can remember, and give yourself a hug again. Maybe pulsing it a few more times in your own rhythm, you can slow it down or make it faster, whatever feels good for you. As you just feel into your heart wings opening and perhaps you move your arms in a different way if you like as well. It's all up to you. Everything I say tonight is an invitation for you to expand and you to be creative in your own way, in your own healing, in your own essence of your star, soul star energy. Let's take one more pulse so you can sit in stillness and hug yourself. And then coming back to a centre point. Let's take our hands to a heart with the palms pressed together in Anjali Mudra please. And then opening your palms as a gesture of offering with love out to the world. We then turn the backs of our hands towards each other and the fingers point towards your heart. Then you take the fingers down to the earth and circle this lotus flower of your heart round and up and then the thumb and the little finger meet to form a lotus flower of your heart. We can do that a few more times just to practice opening the palms together and then turning the backs of the hands, pointing the fingers to the heart, to the earth, around your aura, up to the sky, above your crown and bringing this light down through your crown chakra, the lotus flower of your heart as the thumb and the little finger touch and the other fingers are outstretched. One more time as we practice and then we'll join this with three arms, just circling your hands in your own way, spinning the lotus flower of your heart as you draw this back to your light, to your love, to your soul star. Let's take three arms now together, the sound of creation sound of rebirth, of transformation, of lighting up, which is what winter solstice is all about. So as we sound these three ohms, perhaps you can think about what you would like to create in your life, what you would like to light up and transform, and what rebirth energies mean to you at the moment. Okay, let's inhale to prepare. You can move the hands as well if you like spinning your lotus flower, if that resonates with you. Inhaling. Oh. Oh. 
And as you sit for a few more moments, thinking about this lotus flower now blossoming as your gesture in front and the light of your candle flame of your heart and how you'd like to send love and healing to the world and also receive love and healing for yourself, for your own soul. And from the lotus flower of your heart, dropping down roots again to the earth with a grounding cord and these roots growing below you, expanding in all directions. And from your heart, you drop a cord down through the earth to the earth's heart, to Mother Earth's heart. And perhaps you can feel a pulsing, a connection to Mother Earth below you. Imagining how a heart would be, would, would seem like. And the immensity of the love of Mother Earth that she holds for us all. saying thank you and sending this love back to Mother Earth. And from our circle and our connection, imagining now as you take your hands down from your heart to your lap and maybe you just caress your fingers, your hands. And perhaps you can hold one hand in another. You can imagine that you're holding hands around the circle with everyone here. And that this extends to the whole of the world that we can hold hands with the whole of humanity. All across the world, all the animals, all the plants, Blessing the water, the earth, fire and air and space of the five elements. And now let's lie down and enjoy a sound journey together, a yoga nidra. And I'll be asking a few questions. So if you would like to have a journal nearby you, you're welcome to write any questions down that will be coming up through the Nidra, the end of the Nidra, just to warn you about that. And also, if you have a glass of water by you, you can maybe have that next to you as we'll be incorporating that later on as well and thinking about the water in our body, the water of the planet. So as you lie down, noticing how you've placed your body today. Noticing if you can get any more comfy and arrange yourself to be as comfortable as possible. Allowing yourself to sink to the ground below you. Allowing yourself to drop and fully release, fully surrender your body.
Noticing the back of your body, the whole of the body that's contacting with the earth. Noticing if you can give yourself to be merging, letting go, releasing, opening through the back of your body even more. As you take big, deep, generous breaths, allowing your breath to fully fill you up with an inhale and fully release as you exhale. And perhaps as you sink into the earth of your body and the earth below your body, You can lovingly imagine that Mother Earth is holding you, rocking you as her child. And that all of the back of your body is warmed by her. And that your heart and her heart are beating together. Beating with the rhythm of creation, of life, of love, of peace. And at this time of rebirth, of stillness, during the winter solstice, let's look deep inside into our hearts, into our mind and our body to realize what can be changed for our own growth, what can be changed so that we can thrive even more. And perhaps you can think of just one simple little gesture that you can give yourself to be in a space of full love, of wholeness, of thriving energy. And perhaps this is a blessing saying thank you. And from this space of your body resting and the earth's heart beating below, noticing this blessing, this acknowledgement with intention for your own healing, your own nourishment. And from the toes of your feet, imagining light weaving, sparkling and shimmering all the way up through your feet to your legs, up through your body, up to your head, across your face, down through your neck and your arms to your hands fingers and thumbs. Now the whole of you is sparkling with energy, resting in this sparkling energy. As you breathe deep, now noticing the front of your body and around your body, the air, the sensations of the fabrics around you, your skin, and possibly any sounds around you or in the distance. And 
allowing your breath to be with all of these experiences, all of your senses, the five elements. And your breath is the bridge. As your breath is a magical source of energy. And as we slow down with our vibration, with our breath, we slow our mind. and expand into our healing, into our energy fields. Noticing your breath with this light shimmering all the way through you now. And with each inhale, the light gets brighter and more expansive. It fills out to your aura, a cocoon all around you. And perhaps your aura, your heart field can expand even more in circumference and magnificence all around, filling the room, and even filling your whole house. And this light streaming in all directions with love, with peace. As you inhale, the light brightens. As you exhale, glowing and soothing. And imagining all over the world, today and tonight, mass meditations for unity, for the grand conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter, the winter solstice and summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. And for a very special rock in Uluru, which is said to contain many crystals, and there's a prophecy that on the date of today, that these crystals will be activated and the whole consciousness of the planet will be raised as we uplift with this activational energy. Let's breathe into this uplifting within us and sending this out to the whole world. The rock in Uluru, or the magic box, is linked to the rainbow tribe, which is a prophecy of their own native rainbow tribe, and of the whole of the ancient ancestors of all tribes all over the world speak about cosmic rainbow warriors. And all the prophecies tell that we are all cosmic rainbow warriors. And by our own intention, by our own sovereignty, we reclaim this, activate this, and align with this ourselves. So as you rest. Tonight we'll be moving through our chakras, creating a rainbow serpent of your rainbow body. And as you hear your chakras be mentioned, you'll already know inside and the lights of your rainbow body are glowing 
and waiting to be aligned with balance. As you look within, noticing how each part of your body feels at the moment and if there's any particular area of your body that you know or that is being known to you now that needs more healing, balancing. And asking why, perhaps, to your body. And as you know the answer, let's breathe into our chakras and feel our chakras glowing from our red earth root chakra, Mulahara, with four petals opening in the four directions of north, east, south and west. all around the red earth energy as you breathe from your root the red warming glowing energy of your blood of your bones the muscles of your body breathing with this red earth energy And noticing the pulsation of your root chakra. Noticing the back, the sides and the front. And with your breath, allowing yourself to circle all the way around clearing, balancing, activating red earth energy for your physical health, for your path, for your purpose, for your passion, for you to be on this earth where the fullness of you are, the wholeness of you. Now breathing up from your root chakra to your sacral chakra with orange water energy and six petals of a lotus flower opening with sensuality, opening with creation, opening with vitality. And the six petals of Swadhisthana, your sacral chakra, with orange water of abundance, breathing with this orange abundance flowing through you. And the breath like a wave of water, a wave of thriving, orange light, glistening, shimmering washing and cleansing as you breathe with this orange water light surround your sacral chakra 
and around the back, the sides, the front as well, clearing any energy as you exhale, maybe sighing out. And allowing the red and orange to glow within you, the water to nourish the earth within you, the water to drop its nourishment into new seeds of growth, new seeds of thriving, of abundance. And as you breathe, Feeling into your sacral chakra, into what your sacral chakra has to teach you. With your root chakra. And how water and earth create this mud for the lotus flower to grow within you. Balancing and aligning with your breath. sacral chakra up to our solar plexus with yellow firelight and ten petals of a lotus flower, Manipura, lustrous gem inside you of your own empowerment, yellow fire flame and perhaps as you feel into your solar plexus with your breath and your diaphragm moving this area just above your navel, feeling into how, if you could imagine a flame inside of you would be at the moment. And as you breathe with this yellow firelight, allowing this flame to stoke, to grow, to dance, to a light and perhaps you can imagine the fire in your own special way, your own special winter solstice fire. As you breathe around your solar plexus and this light of yellow fire of your inner sun shining within you and all of the tiny suns of the trillions of your cells and they're shining down through your lower chakras of your sacral and your root chakras with fire, water and earth for growth, for expansion, for unity for empowerment, for creation. And this sparkling energy moving up and around your heart and allowing your heart to dance with the flame of your solar plexus, your solar plexus lighting whole of your torso with yellow firelight for transformation. Noticing around the back, the sides and the front again. And 
Noticing any messages. As you breathe deep. with this union. As your breath is magical, just slow down. And the only organ in a way that we can actually consciously choose to slow down, which then slows down our heart and gives healing to a whole system, all of our organs. As you breathe across your heart again, allowing your heart once more to be lit up, just like your candle flame and the flame of your solar plexus below, with the fire, water and earth, now rising with the air of your heart, the air of your heart circling and streaming as you breathe the outside in, the outside of the ocean, of the forests, of the mountains, of the worlds, into you, into your heart, into your lungs, into your body. And breathing out your inside, out to the world. As your heart's expression, as your heart's calling. And if you were to tap into your heart's message for your own self, what would this be? And how could this be in community with all others? as you breathe this out to the world. With green air energy growing from your heart, beautiful lotus flower, the sun, the water and the earth below. And perhaps you can imagine 
a special winter lotus flower with its own unique colour, scent, texture, form. For your winter solstice blessing, for your heart. And as you listen to your heart, for your heart's message, perhaps you can form this into an intention, which is called your Sankalpa, your heart's prayer, your heart's song, your anchor, anchoring, with love, with peace, with your own heart song. From your heart's song, in the light of your heart, imagining a star within your heart as your heart symbol. In the ancient symbol of a star, which is said for the planets above us now in our grand conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter, that have been coming together to line up one over the other to produce a magnificent star. And this is linked to the star of Bethlehem and also the star of our heart chakra. A star with an upward pointing triangle for our upper chakras and a downward pointing triangle for our lower chakras. And within this star, we can recalibrate our own heart and all of our system, imagining one triangle spinning in one direction and the other triangle spinning in the other direction opposite. And each Triangle now spinning in the opposite directions creates a macabre, a portal of light that's within your heart. And this portal of light links to your higher self, to your higher heart, to your soul self, to your soul light, and to the light of the cosmos, the energies of the universe, energies of the planets, the stars, the energies of our guides, angels, archangels, ancestors, the energies of higher frequencies, dimensions, higher attuning, light, source, codes, and as we link to our heart star, let's now call in an activation for our own highest 
energy to anchor this in for our own highest vibration and to be with this in a peaceful way as when we call this in we are allowed what is available for us and this can be changed with different intentions which I'll talk about at the end and also put in the chat for you and as you align with your heart star calling in these activations by starting the activation with the word I command. I invite you to say these words after yourself, to yourself. I command to receive the highest frequencies available to myself in this moment. I command to align to my highest self. I command to activate my soul star. I command to upgrade my DNA with light codes of the rainbow cosmic warriors. I command to activate and align the highest frequency of love, peace and unity within my soul, my body, my heart and mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And from this space of your heart and your soul star, let's now move up to our throat chakra, Visudu, with blue ether energy, crystalline, cleansing, clear light, allowing your breath to move through your throat and maybe sighing out. And as you focus on this blue ether energy of spaciousness, of the night sky, expanding with the stars, the planets, the Milky Way, the moon, another blue sky in day with the sun, the clouds, the seasons, Imagining a space that feels your own personal sacred space right now on winter solstice eve. Imagining the space in your own magical way, maybe the snow, ice. Perhaps you imagine a forest or mountains or the sea, imagining the space that your throat chakra, your heart is giving you as you breathe. Your throat chakra has 16 petals of a lotus flower, 16 petals of how many ways to communicate. And this communication inside, a 
as well as outside with clarity, with truth, with kindness, with compassion, with grace. How many other words of expression can you think of and feel into as you breathe around your throat chakra? Breathing into this bridge between your heart and your mind with balance, with wisdom, with gratitude. This rising up to your third eye, an indigo intuition, two petals, and your chakra opening, the sun and the moon, day and night. As you breathe around your third eye in the center of your forehead, in the darkness, of the longest night of the year, breathing into this darkness as a teacher to see through the dark to the light, to see the message and the teachings of any struggles, any challenges, and of this year. The two petals opening on the balance of masculine and feminine, the sun, the masculine and the feminine moon. These two channels streaming through you in a double helix like your DNA, swirling and twirling all the way down to your root chakra, all the way up through you to your third eye and out of your crown and around, all the way around and through, deep inside, Seeing, opening, clearing this window, just like you would clean a window, as if you could clean this with your intention to see, to 
see the magic that society and our own ego conditions us away from this magic. And as we open and clear and clean, we can awaken and see the magic, the immense beauty, the immense, amazing, incredible life. that we have inside of us and that we have all around as we live with love, with peace for each other, for all, for unity to see how we can create this how our inner teachers of our soul's light, of our soul's star can allow us to change, to accept, to forgive, And as you open your third eye to see down through all the other chakras, to see the chakras all in a line now from your third eye down to your throat below, your heart, solar plexus, sacral, and your root, all of the chakras below your third eye, your crown above, in this line of a column of light, Tishishima, lighting up your column of light. It's a rainbow serpent, a rainbow bridge, a rainbow column of light. The lines up, glows, with all of the colours of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And as you breathe with these colours, breathing deep, allowing your breath to refresh, to realign, to reawaken, your sovereign rainbow, star, seed, soul, body, heart and mind, lighting this all up, breathing with this light.
As you breathe through this light, allowing this to lift up all the way through you and out of your crown chakra with thousand petal lotus, allowing the thousand petals to glow in all directions, expanding. Allowing the light to be streaming from above all the way through you and streaming from you out to above and below to Mother Earth sending all of the divine light from the universe, the divine light of the stars, the divine light of our angels, archangels, our guides, our higher self, through the divine light of ourselves, of our bodies, and down to Mother Earth. to the earth's heart below, to the earth's heart chakra, and to the chakras across the world of the earth, the rainbow serpent, the rainbow bridge. Breathing deep. I read a poem. May we all shine brightly, love greatly, and sing merrily from our hearts as this year departs. May we listen deeply to what we most desire. May we grow intently our passion and our fire. May we see our beauty and know we are enough. May we raise our children to be full of wondrous stuff. May we take time for our neighbours, holding out a kind hand as we stand together on the splendid land. May we hear the winter robin as she sings joyously. Let her song warm our hearts as we sit around the fir tree May we find light in the dark and solace in the moon as she lifts our wintry hearts and transforms the gloom. May we know that the light and the long day shall return. May we retreat inwards to our sun as it burns, fire in our bellies and song in our hearts. May we all shine brightly love greatly, sing merrily, as this year departs. And that's by a teacher called Chris Gladwell. And now I invite you to receive the sounds the whole of your rainbow chakra body and to send your healing through your body to any areas being curious of where the sound goes and what sounds bring with different messages to your soul star lighting you up with love with peace with healing
do you feel into those sounds once again, settling within you? The rainbow bridge, column of lights, all glowing with lights, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. And as you notice this expansion of yourself, of your whole body, mind, heart, and energy fields, feeling all the way through your left side of your body, noticing the left side of your face, your arm, your body, your leg. Moving your awareness over to the right side of your body, all the way down the right side of your face, arm, body, leg. Sensing the whole of your body together, all of your body lit in the light, for the trillions of cells, each one a light as a flame, as the sun within you, and the glowing colours of your chakras. You're all lighting, glowing, with balance, with unity, and a sacred union of yourself, a sacred union of your own inner masculine and feminine, sun and moon, the sacred union of your own self-love and worth, and here remembering your heart's intention, your sankalpa, your heart's prayer, the message that's your own personal treasure, your own gift. And from your heart space within you, sounding this out through your rainbow body as a cosmic rainbow warrior, sounding this to the universe in your own special way with your exclamation and exploration. <laughs> and as you Thank yourself, thanking your body, thanking your heart and mind again. Blessing yourself. Sending these thanks and these blessings out to the world, out to Mother Earth, out to the universe, out to all. And as you breathe through, resting in this space of peace, of light, of love, allowing yourself to shimmer like all of the trillions of cells within you, shimmering, lit, little dancing flames, of your own inner sun, your own inner light, shining bright and perhaps you can repeat these words if they resonate with you I am immersed in the flame the flame of love and light 
the flame of creation and life, the flame of transformation and rebirth. I am immersed in the flame, the flame of love and light, the flame of creation and life the flame of transformation and rebirth. I am immersed in the flame, the flame of love and light, the flame of creation and life, the flame of transformation and rebirth. And as you breathe this in, you're lighting up your whole body with healing. As you breathe in this light and you are this light, and you send your light out to the light. Sending this down to Mother Earth and the heart of Mother Earth. And I read a passage from the Radiance Sutras, translated by Lorin Roche. Sutra 14. When you close your eyes, attention turns towards the inner glow. The heart sees by its own light, pulsing with subtle flame. In your forehead is a single eye. Hear streams of living electricity flow together the body of substance and the body of light fuse into one. Above your head a star is shining, the soul luminous in its own realm. Life arises from itself in a swirling motion of flame. Being becomes body in meditation Adore the subtle fire in heart, head and above. Dissolve into radiance. I'll put all of these notes in the notes at the end of class. If you'd like to copy them, you're welcome to. As you rest for a few more moments now, soaking in this light, in the light of your own special uniqueness,
as you sense the silence, notice how silence can create a form of a ending and a new beginning. The silence and the stillness is the ending and the new beginning. The space of the void of creation. The space of all possibilities. And with Saturn and Jupiter, Saturn a great teacher and Jupiter a great healer, both at zero degrees conjunction. And with this being on a very special day of winter solstice in the northern hemisphere and summer solstice in the southern, and the link of the whole world as one, as a zero point, as a new beginning, a new awakening, a new consciousness. As you feel into this, maybe you can think about what you could link with this zero point into your life to a new rebirth and that possibly with the zero, the circle you are noticing your patterns noticing the returning and the re-emerging, the circling. Now from the center of the circle, the center of the zero point, can choose a new pattern, a new way to reform this circle so that all is included and all of you is with love and that all that you have learned and been through is part of you, is the whole of you and that all is welcome in this circle and from this point of zero a new beginning a new rebirth and the bright star that you are and the stars above and the two planets coming together to form this bright star above us. Noticing the zero point and how you can tap into this energy to begin again in your own unique way. Allowing yourself to shine Allowing yourself in your own uniqueness to be with the wholeness of you are, with the shining energy. And perhaps if you'd like to inquire either in your journal or still lying down, or just turning to your side to slowly wake up. You can start to think about how this year has been for you and what great lessons you've learned and what 
the biggest lesson you have learned has been? What's the biggest lesson? And from this lesson, what can you now choose as the teaching to go forth into a new rebirth in this zero point? How can you promise yourself to be in your highest thriving, sovereign, wholeness. And how can you change this very gently in your own way from today, from tonight? How can you make a change? And if you were to answer in one word, what have you learnt from the darkness? What can you bring into the light? How can you fully step up to be your own light star how can you serve others How this circle of you and all around you can circle out to the world. Circling with love and light as you breathe with a circle. Taking big deep breaths and in your own time you can start to stretch and move. And when you're ready to wiggle your fingers and thumbs, your toes, start to come back to seated when you're ready please. When you come to seated, if you have a glass of water nearby you, you can take this into your hands now, please. And if you haven't got a glass of water and you don't need to rush off, or you can just imagine the water there as the water is in, inside of you as well, as you are a vessel for this water. So as you hold your water and you have the water inside of you, Blessing this water, imagining a star above you as all the stars in the sky and Saturn and Jupiter and this bright shining golden star is shining above you, beaming down celestial divine higher frequencies and light and this light shines all the way through you through every part of you and all the way through the water down to the earth, down to Mother Earth again 
down to Mother Earth's heart, up through Mother Earth and up through you and through the water and up to the sky, to above, to the divine, to the cosmos once more. And as you just sit with these blessings, blessing yourself, blessing the water, blessing the earth, blessing the divine, with Aham Prema, I am divine love, divine blessings, blessing yourself, blessing the water, blessing the elements of earth, water, fire, air and space, blessing your heart, your soul, your soul star, blessing your rainbow body of your chakras and you as a cosmic rainbow warrior sending these blessings out to all out to all of the world and perhaps if you have the water with you you can drink this water you can swallow as well And taking your hands to your heart when you're ready, please. As we sit long with our rainbow spine, illuminated, activated, feeling this alignment through you. Noticing how you feel now and saying thank you to yourself, to your heart, your mind, your soul once again. I invite you to join in with a mantra for peace. Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. May all beings be free, be happy. You can sing this inside or just in your heart space or out loud. If you want to unmute yourself and join me, you're welcome to as well. Let's begin. Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu
Thank you everyone. Just bow to each other, bow to our hearts, bow to this great day and this opportunity Namaste.